Show me how. Okay, folks. I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a Performance Plus ream. There it is. 40 gallon. This one's pretty obvious. Again, show me how it's not a plumber, but show me how it knows a lot of stuff. Went out, came back, hot water for the normal amount after that, no more. Meaning I got about two long showers from young daughters. Okay. So what the heck? No water. Came out today, uh, the following day, tried to figure out what was going on. For starters, these green wire nuts were on the leads in. All right, which is 240, two 120s. So your two hots are 120s. Take a peek at these. They got holes in the back. Really? How, how psycho is that? Okay, I hope you can see that. So the wires can come right through. That's great. And they're all shoved back inside of here. Less than three years old, arcing. Look at the arcing. Which again, this is what causes fires. Now, I'm sure 90% of the fires are electrical, they're not gas. See the arcing? Because there was a loose connection. And what I'm banking on is it was probably a loose connection. Let me see if I can yank this for you folks, okay? Sorry for any thumb action. I like to do my stuff uned unedited. So you really get the real time. You see that? Even though it's recorded real time, that even makes sense. See this? This is all burnt arcing. I don't know if this is bad. Uh, the the uh, element, the heating element. I almost think it isn't. So I'm going to give it a whack. I'm going to test it right now. We'll test it with the ohm meter and see if it's good. I have a feeling it's good and I would just have to replace the lead. Okay. But what happens is if it was loose, arcing, it's going to heat the wire up. Okay. Melt the sheathing. And then... <laughs> At that point, you know, all bets are off. So, let me mount this back up on the pod. And then let's see if we can't get a, a test on this. And what I'm going to do is take this red line. Oh, uh, I'll disconnect these even though I know I have them off. Just to be sure. Okay. I should have brought my sniffer down. And all that is, folks, is that just checks for power. Also, this is the casing on this BX cable. You're supposed to have a little red sleeve in here that almost looks like a wire nut that's cut off in the end. And it sleeves inside of here to prevent any kind of uh, cutting, penetrating of the wire from this sharp edge. I mean, this is razor sharp. I pulled this off. I pulled this off. Dirty hands. This is dirty hands. This is the epitome of dirty hands. Set it to ohms with the sound. Okay, and that just lets you know that all bets are working. Okay. Now let's see if I get sound. If I get sound on this heating element, then we know it's good. And I think, have a feeling it still is, although boy, all this arcing is not good. Um, let's see. See, it's still good. The reason why it stopped working was because the wires were fried. One of them, the other one started taking a bath, started heating up. And, th and this is all from dirty hands from incompetent people. So just by the way, this was not fully enclosed, nor does it actually have a really good uh, three wire system to it, meaning uh, two hots and a neutral. It's got two hots and a ground going to it. I'm not sure what the wiring schematic is on that. Uh, I 
can take a look if it's a three wire or four wire. I believe it's got a 40 amp breaker. And if it's got a 40 amp breaker, that means they want four wires to it. Yes, will it work? Yes, it did. But let's not remember or let's not forget, folks. There you go. Okay? Isn't that wonderful? Sheesh. Dirty hands. All right, folks. So the heating element works. So what I need to do is get a wire. All right. Which looks like it was a straight wire. Okay. It looks like it was a straight wire in here. And I can just take this one off, which is crimped. This doesn't look like it's anything special, to be honest with you. It looks like they took one of these uh, wire connectors, the fork style, and, uh, and tapped it in up top here. I'm just so glad that hopefully this is going to work. So what I'll do is I'll put in a new wire, okay, and then we'll test it. Okay, just to kind of show you what I'm doing instead of after the fact. So what I did was this thermostat or the uh, the thermostat wire here uh, was soldered to the wire that got burnt. Okay, uh, wherever it is. Probably disposed of it. I'm allergic to stupidity. Here you go. I get allergies from stupidity. Even my own stupidity gives me allergies. So anyway, so it was just soldered here. Okay. And so what I did was I just took it. It's not soldered to the new wire. I just put on new wire over to the uh, element. Okay. But hopefully... It's gonna work, although it is melted there, boy, I don't know. Okay, we'll see on that one, huh? It, it is getting uh, resistant. So anyways, to get to the point, here's the other leg. So what I did was I just cut another line and I will tap in to the element, okay? and bond it, and then wire nut. All right, so. Now, obviously, the moral to the story is, buddy of mine had this on as well, on his uh, pressure switch is, you know, loose wires, man. Loose wires is gonna cause arcing. That's why you get a lot of it like in these, those switches, those multi-switches for computers in your living room. <sighs> Something starts arcing. So what I'm gonna do is tap this in and hopefully it works. All right, and if it doesn't, well, it doesn't. No love loss, because I'd have had to get something anyways. The love loss is the dirty hands, okay? The folks that went dirty, that's the love loss. And what I'll do is Use a wire nut here. These are a little bit better. Good to, it's good to squeeze these together too. Okay, a lot of people don't. 
I don't like to twist them up. I think the nut will do it all itself. I prefer not to. So I've twisted it on a little bit. Okay, that way, if they ever decide to separate, get a divorce. Um, they'll still be twisted together. All right. So let me just tuck this back in there off to the side, like so. And hopefully this is going to work. Um, this is that sleeve that I was telling you about. Whenever you use this MB cable, this pre-wired conduit flex, this sleeve is supposed to go inside of here, slide. Hopefully you can see this. Okay. I might be able to put it in here. Maybe not. But just so you know, you get called out on that. Okay. Those little, those little boys in the uniform for the building department. I'll call you out on that. So you can see I've kind of shoved it in there a little bit since this is impromptu all right and that way the edge of the mb the sheathing um doesn't cut anything it doesn't cut your wire even though it probably wouldn't and again it's pretty much a joke there they were just shoved in here i mean so wow yeah and did he even have this grounded? Yeah, I don't think he had this grounded anywhere. I don't know what this guy did here, but it's pretty buffooned, to say the least. So, we'll go back to connecting these and see if she fires up. Okay, folks, I can hear it, the element working now. This is what I couldn't hear before. Now, the lighting is the same, okay? The lower element is on, and the lower element was stuck on before. It was never going out and doing its job, okay? Okay. So smell that, that burnt plastic. Anyways, um, and the green wire, wire nuts, in case you're asking, it's kind of obvious why green wire nuts with holes in them, because of the ground. So you could use those and you wouldn't have to worry about grounding. Um, so let me put this back on. Hopefully this doesn't hurt me. Okay. So again, show me how We'll show you how to do almost anything within the old uh, the old dude's uh, realm or capacity. Just show me how it does not like butchers, hacks, dirty hands. Do it right. Work hard. Be noble. Be dignified. All right. If, if there's an issue after this, I'll come back and address it in another video, okay? Voltmeter, this all looks good, it smells good. Voltmeter, uh, screwdrivers, Phillips slotted, slotted, they call it flat, it's really a slotted screw with a flat screwdriver, I guess you could say. Nail cutters, 90 degree needle nose. Okay, that's about it. Some electrical tape. If you really wanted to get good, you could solder. I think just the casing on that element is kind of obviously a little melted up, but I think it's okay. And like I said, if there's another issue, I'll get back to you. Um, I'm probably going to buy another element just in case so I can have one handy. All right, show me how I showed you how. 
to troubleshoot a performance plus by a ring. All right. Hope you subscribe. Hope you disseminate. Pass on the info. Show me how. Just show you how. Out.